Starting off with Monday, November 2nd, Nelly turned 46. The uh, Honestly, I'm not even going to hold him to just hip-hop or whatever. I'm just a music legend, honestly, in his own right. I believe he's from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, but shout-out to Nelly for sure just on that, just on his impact on his music for sure. Singer Stevie J turned 49 as well on Monday. Michael, Bu- I think. He- Michael Buffer. Yeah. <laughs> gonna Buffer that brothers right. are the best announcers of all time. I mean, let's get ready to rumble, right? That's um yeah. legendary. I mean, boxing, MMA, any professional fighting, it seems, cannot commence you have to at, have, a high, you have at a high have, stakes. You without- have to have the Buffer brothers. Exactly. It's Mike, Michael always says boxing and Bruce always says UFC. Like they, it's signature to the whole ritual, like the whole fight. Like they have to be there. It's like, yeah, it's, 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 it's buffer bust, honestly, when it comes to uh, any form of combat, uh, martial arts, combat sport or mm-hmm. there. So anyway, moving on with Monday birthdays from yesterday, we have David Schwimmer from yes, the show sir. Friends. <laughs> That was a uh, big one to some. And dang, I, uh, so. I feel I feel bad. I feel bad so. saying this last one though because Jimmy Garoppolo, the quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers, turned twenty nine. Happy birthday! Get well soon. Yeah, he just got <laughs> shut down. I think for for um, ankle injury? indefinitely with a, a nagging ankle injury that had been bothering him. So stinks to have that happen to you on or around your your birthday. So sorry to Jimmy well Garoppolo. Soon. Moving on now to Tuesday birthdays. Happy birthday to all these following people. We have really? Kendall Jenner's birthday today, and she, I guess, oh, celebrated accordingly. Wish her happy- uh, moving on with our Tuesday birthdays, we have Ella May. Ella, is that how you pronounce Ella her? May. Ella, Ella May. Ella May. She's very talented mm-hmm. singer. Uh, we have Nav turning oh, who? Not y'all being haters. Nav, I'm not going to sit here and speak on um, Nav because I just don't really like most of his music, but. I mean, as a person, I hope he has a nice day. Maybe somebody will give you a present uh, on how to actually write lyrics. Mm. Well, he is a producer first. I'll give him that benefit of the doubt. So it's this thing, even if I, you know, I don't like his music, I'm I'm willing to see that he is a producer first. He has some solid production credits as well. It's true. So he's made a name for himself in the music industry. Also, when he does drop rap albums, his own rap albums, the features that he's able to get are really, I mean... He's up there with like DJ Khaled for features on 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 his projects, or at least his last one. Um, but yeah, capping off today's birthday with probably the most significant one on this list, I would say happy birthday to Colin Kaepernick. Now for tomorrow's birthdays, few to spotlight. Sean Diddy Combs, that's a big one, big day in in hip hop in the world of entertainment. Very 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 uh, distinguished person in the music industry and in and in media, um, and just as an entrepreneur. Sean Diddy Combs, for sure. Uh, Ralph Macchio from The Karate Kid, most notably, and a few other cameos like uh, in a few other shows. I remember seeing him in Entourage and, and How I Met Your Mother playing himself, which I thought was really funny. Another big one, though, for tomorrow, Wednesday, this is November 4th, Matthew McConaughey, just like P. Diddy, and Des Bryant, the NFL wide receiver who I guess just was uh, elevated from the Baltimore Ravens practice squad to the active roster, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Great really? to see him back in the league after he, he was, I didn't see that. He was headline. up there as far as you know, the league receivers go um, or went, you know, a few years ago, but then I guess yeah. he lost a step or, or something. That's at least what they say. He wasn't able to get open as often. And as far as, you know, heading towards the end of the week now on Thursday, November 5th, we have Chris Jenner. I, I feel like everyone has Golden their own. Everyone, everyone has something to say about Chris Jenner or whatever it might be good or bad. Best manager of all time. No, literally goaded momager. Like n- no one can compare to her as yeah. press. Yeah. One way or another, I would say be. seems to be the case. Uh, up next on Thursday, November 5th, happy birthday to Odell Beckham Jr., get who another well one. soon. Right. Get well soon. Get He's well injured soon. Why right they all now. hurt? <laughs> Odell, I think, tore his ACL, yeah, right? So that's he's usually out not for a while. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate to see. He was kind of, I think, just starting to pick up his play. The Browns are doing well too, which is a rarity. Baker Mayfield running the show there, quarterback. But yeah, um, Thursday, November fifth. Moving on. Happy birthday to Kevin Jonas. Like the Jonas brother, Kevin Jonas. Yeah, like the Kevin, like the Jonas brothers, Kevin Jonas. <laughs> okay, you Happy got birthday. it. Childhood. Here's probably my favorite on this list. Up next on Thursday, November fifth. Ageless wonder, I would say. Bill Walton, NBA Hall of Famer turned basketball commentator now for ESPN. Very enthusiastic, very energetic. You know, he wore wigs during his games. Did he really? He wore wigs. He has always been the most Absolutely. interesting, unique guy, I think. Imagine wearing Did a- anyone notice? I mean, he, he honestly could be a Hall of Famer for playing basketball and announcing basketball because he he's in the Hall of Fame. 
Yes, he is. But I'm, I'm saying the announcing career he's been putting together the last few years now is worth getting some recognition. Yeah, he's so it. unique and distinct funny. and just funny guy. I'm not sure he's always sober for the broadcast <laughs> either. Yeah, Who knows? Most definitely not. Wouldn't shock Absolutely me if he was not. on something. Yeah, but. Moving on with Thursday, November 5th birthdays, O.J. Mayo, a former NBA, at least to some I'd say fan favorite. He's definitely uh, well-known and, and well-respected, yeah. I think, among most circles of NBA fandom, right? But uh, happy birthday, O.J. Mayo. Last but not least, another basketball player. I think, I think this guy won uh, an MVP in his time in the NBA, but happy birthday to Jerry Stackhouse. Um, definitely had a great, very distinguished N- uh, NBA career. And then... Capping off the week with our Friday birthdays, we have Emma Stone. Happy birthday to Emma Stone. I'll never forget when I first watched Easy A. It was like, it's not even one of my favorite movies. It just was interesting. And I remember that being now with Emma Stone being just so prominent. Like that was the first Emma Stone movie I ever saw. And I just, for some reason, remember it pretty vividly. She was like my first childhood crush ever. First woman crush Wednesday or whatever. Yeah. Yes. Finishing off the um, last few here for, for Friday. This is November 6th. Speaker Knockers. Rest in peace rest to Speaker peace. Knockers for sure. He passed away in 2014. He was 20 years old when he passed. He would be um, 26 on Friday. Lamar Odom. Big Kardashian Jenner thing going on with these birthdays this week. Yeah. We chose Scorpio to implement this season. segment in, in a very um, interesting interesting week for birthdays, definitely. Um, 